Thanks very much to uh, Novak. OK, let's go out and see some live tennis now. Uh, Britain's uh, Jamie Ward, who uh, qualified, is uh, facing uh, Marit Safin. There we are, early stages. One all, 30 all. Let's uh, rejoin John Lloyd and Mark Pecci. Sue, thank you very much. Yes, and uh, an encouraging start here, it has to be said, by James Ward. Held his uh, opening service game comfortably and is at 30 all on Safins now. Oh. Could see a challenge here, I think. Safin is challenging the call. The right far sideline is called fault. John hasn't been wrong all day, so I'll let him call <laughs> this one. Uh, I think it was just wide, but very close. Well, you're one for one, so... Please, please, please. Yes. All stands. Oh, that's a good point. Again, another depressive forehand. 30 40. Mm -hmm. Something has two challenges from it. We thought that uh, you know, the first game or two might be the. The nerves may come in for James Ward. It's a big occasion for him, but so far he seems to have really adjusted quickly and is seemed to be enjoying the situation so far, really hitting out, particularly on the forehand side. That's not his best best side, backhand normally. Oh. Oh. And it's yeah. out. Better than I'm sure even he expected, but certainly the crowd appreciating that. Ward leads two games to one. And the 21-year-old breaks first in this uh, first-round match, and uh, he certainly has played particularly well. To start with, he, he's got a very flat game, as you said, John, coming into this. And uh, obviously, growing up in Spain, you expect him to have perhaps a little bit more spin on the ball. But the fact it's so, so flat, it's actually staying very deep, and it's difficult for Safin to, to attack. Yeah, at the moment, I mean, obviously we've just started the match and he's got the early break, but at the moment, Marit Safin, I think a little bit surprised with the speed of uh, the ground strokes from James Ward. Uh, as you said, he spent the last four or five years with Juan Carlos Ferrero in Spain and he obviously hasn't copied his uh, topspin game at all because he hits as flat as almost anybody that, that's on the circuit, James Ward, but very effective so far in getting a lot of, a lot of pace, a lot of penetration off the ground. Marit Safin at the moment, you know, it's always a bit awkward for someone like Safin. You're playing against someone you've never seen before. He's never played a, a tour event before. Time. And I'm sure he's asked a few people, and people so have probably said, well, we don't please, know him either. So he's got Thank no you. idea how his opponent's going to play. And, and at the moment, he's, it'll take him probably a couple more games, maybe just to adjust. And then you would think the experience will, uh, you know, will, will take its toll. But who knows? Good hold from here from James Ward, and we could have an interesting first set here. Very good friends with uh, Juan Carlos Ferro, as you say, and uh, gave him a call after he qualified here and the draw had come out that he was playing Marit Safin to ask a few tips on how to play the Russian. No question, it must have helped Ward's game that he's practiced a fair bit with Ferro as well to get used to that type of pace of hitting. Mm, that's good stuff. It's the second drop shot he's hit today. 15 love. You've both been successful. Yeah, and good composure as well, because there is a tendency, surely, at the start of a match like this, to just do the safe thing, which yep. is to drive the back end and come in. Let's pursue. Good length. 30 love. It's amazing how he, he gets to a lot of those sort of low shots there, James, because he doesn't bend that well, but he seems to, he's got very good racket head control and seems to be able to whip the ball up from a low part of the court. been flawless so far and as much as Safin I'm sure will be a little despondent with the scoreline there's not a lot he could have done
No, that's too good. <laughs> You've got to be careful with that. 4G hitting. Slice backhand. He, he hits it pretty well sometimes, but that one, not enough bite on the ball. Thirty. Of course, we shouldn't forget that uh, this is Sappin's first match on grass as well, so it may take mm. him a little bit of time just to uh, find his rhythm. Healthy lead in, leads three games to one. in that game and uh, a healthy lead in the set now it's uh, three ones given himself a little bit of breathing space which is a real luxury against somebody of the caliber of Marit Safford Left for six. Marit Safin's coach, Hernan Gumi, who he's been with uh, since July 2007. He uh, spent a little bit of time apart from him on the Master Series in uh, Monte Carlo. He was with uh, Mark Rosset. I, I always think it's curious when you have a coach like Gumi. You know, I'm sure he's been around a while, but he was an out-and-out -out clay court player. And then you have him here. Uh, what is Safin going to ask him about how to play on grass when he basically showed up a grass just to sort of shake hands and lose in the first round if he ever played hardly at all. So it, it, I wonder if they just basically just get Marit pit in the best way they can, don't talk tactics too much. Yeah, but are you then advocating the fact that he should have someone different for this period? I think sometimes you may have to have specialised coaches on different surfaces maybe. Oh, good point. Third yard. Well, he may have not a, a strictly traditional style of play in terms of the Spanish, but what he does have is that ability that a lot of the Spanish players have of picking the right shot at the right time. He's got good shot selection. G30. Sapin having to uh, change it up a little bit there with the uh, potential serve and volley plate. Certainly not having it all his own way at the back of the court. Game. Sapin. Just over a quarter of an hour gone. Ward still leaving. Ward leaves. 